Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Networker deck from Paul Brook. All right, so what is the Networker deck? Well, basically it's a, well, it's a deck of cards that you can do card tricks with, but it's very unique. Every single card is a unique business card. And you're, what you're going to be able to do is take this deck and do a ton of really killer mentalism effects. You want to see the trailer? This is it. For quite some time, one of the most powerful things I've been using in close-up is a Svengali deck made out of business cards. I was home making them by collecting business cards, trimming some short and using them to force information on people. The problem is that business cards vary a great deal in quality, so the poorer quality ones would bend or become out of shape and would essentially destroy the Svengali nature of the decks. Equally, home trimming them didn't always guarantee 100% that it was a straight line. Again, when things are slightly askew with the different size and shapes of the business cards, this would render the Svengali principle useless. In order to get over these hurdles, I've had my own Svengali business card decks created. This has meant that I can keep the quality high, have them precisionly cut, and all of the information on the front of the business cards has been designed by me, which has meant that I can hide certain things, certain mentalism effects within that information, as well as keeping every single business card completely unique. These are the most congruent use of a Svengali deck in the corporate environment, and they will allow you to springboard into one of four effects. One of the effects is its own mini routine, which is pretty cool in itself. Welcome to the Networker deck. All right, so that was the Networker deck from Paul Brook. A couple questions we always ask about all of our Magic Reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get the Networker deck, and then with that, you're gonna get a URL that'll get you to a download for a 54-page PDF. Is it what I thought? It is what I thought, but only because um, I had read a lot about it and just seen uh, some different reviews, so I knew exactly what I was getting into. How are the angles? The angles on this, uh, it's gonna work exactly like a long and short deck, sometimes called a Svengali deck. So if you already have some familiarity with that as a means to force the card, um, you're gonna be very familiar with the Networker deck. Can it be inspected? Um, in the individual cards can be inspected, of course. It is made uh, as a deck where you would hand the various business cards out and the specter would hold them and examine them. However, um, I would not hand the entire deck out because that would be bad. What's the overall quality and production value of the PDF? Uh, the PDF has 23 color photographs and images and it makes every step of the process very easy to understand. Is it well made? Uh, the business cards are printed on a premium quality stock with a protective matte finish and it's gonna provide you with long lasting durability for years and years and years. Each one of these cards has been machine cut to precision and it's delivered in a, a beautiful plastic box that makes carrying the deck uh, very simple and it keeps everything organized. How much practice does this require? Um, to use the Networker deck, um, you're gonna get the PDF of course and it's gonna teach you how to do the forcing technique. It's gonna teach you how to do a process where you would lead someone to think of a person who's famous. Um, you're going to read a participant's mind and instantly reveal their star sign or their birth date. You're also going to learn how to do uh, a drawing duplication, okay? So uh, just a random uh, image that they pick from the deck and they're going to write it down or have it in their mind and you'll be able to do a drawing duplication from that. They're also going to teach you how to have your uh, participant choose a website and then a random word from that site and then you're going to be able to determine what that word is. And yes, the person can use their own cell phone and go to the website themselves and never show you the website and you're able to determine the word that they're thinking of. And aside from all the different uh, formal effects that are taught on the PDF, Paul Brooks is gonna share with you a number of techniques and tips that'll help you to get even more from this wonderful deck of cards and you may even generate even more uh, work and uh, c develop clients and create new contacts with the Networker deck. How much setup and reset is there? Um, it is a deck stack, so you're already familiar with a long and short deck or a Spengali deck, you understand that. 
Um, but the mentalism aspect of it will require you to learn some details, memorize some details that are on the individual business cards. Positives, what are the positives to the networker deck? Um, for one, it's very creative. Um, it allows you to do a Spengali style trick, but with a deck of business cards which looks seemingly uh, innocent, you know? And then when you throw that on top of all the mentalism tricks, you know, the star sign, the word divination, the drawing duplication, you, you put all those together, um, you really have a solid routine of tricks that you can do with this. Negatives, what are the negatives to the networker deck? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, again, with Paul Brook, I was just a little disappointed that the, there wasn't a DVD uh, with this. There was no video learning. Obviously, he made a commercial that has, you know, a video sales pitch. So I would have liked, uh, coupled with that, at least a downloadable video that just had some sort of aspect of picture, you know, or showed some performances or showed his routine. I thought uh, something like that would have greatly enhanced um, the buy value on the, uh, the on that end for me. Is it worth your money? It's 40 bucks. Uh, $40 is super, super, super affordable for what you're getting. I mean, you're, there's a lot of decks of cards out there that are $40 that are magic decks of cards. Uh, and, and they only do one trick. This will do multiple tricks. This is a mentalism routine that you can carry in your pocket for $40 and it looks completely innocent. So highly recommended, well worth your money. If that sounds like something you would like, I would say who would like this, you would like this. Um, definitely mentalists that are trying to add something new uh, to their routine or uh, who are just looking for something fresh, uh, I think should definitely check out the Networker deck from Paul Brook. All right, so that is the Networker deck from Paul Brook. I purchased my copy from penguinmagic.com and if you'd like to purchase one for yourself, I would suggest you go there as well. Thanks, bye.